My name is Kate Mesters and I work at UPF in the Barcelona School of Economics and my ERC projects develops new econometric methods for evaluating macroeconomic policy decisions. I focus on answering two key questions. First, is the proposed macroeconomic policy choice optimal? And second, if I find that it's not optimal, why not? Which variables, shocks, dynamics were overlooked when setting policy? Now, as an example, you can think about a central bank who proposes an interest rate choice or a government who sets a carbon tax. In each case, you can ask, is that proposed policy choice optimal? And if not, why is it not optimal? So these are pretty simple questions to state, but it turns out they're quite difficult to answer using existing methods. And the reason is that in practice, policymakers tend to combine many inputs when reaching policy decisions. They combine multiple models, instincts, judgments, and they put all that together to reach their final policy decision. Now, somewhat in contrast, the traditional approach in economics when doing policy evaluation is to analyze a specific model for the economy. And we can learn a lot from this approach, but a fundamental concern is that such model may be misspecified, and therefore you cannot use it to evaluate those practical policy decisions. Now, in my project, I aim to address these concerns. And the key new idea is that I will approach policy evaluation as a hypothesis testing problem. And a key benefit of this approach is that it allows me to fix the proposed policy choice under the null, and therefore I can avoid the evaluation of counterfactual policy choices, and I do not need to specify a specific model for the economy. Now, concretely, I will use this hypothesis testing approach to handle many practical aspects of policy making. In practice, these methods can be used by at least two different parties. First, policymakers themselves can use them to avoid non-optimal policy decisions. Second, researchers more broadly can use these methods to retrospectively better understand policy decisions and possibly improve, make model improvements. I will use these methods myself as well to empirically evaluate modern monetary, fiscal and climate policy decisions. And using this approach, then we can construct a unique non-model based overview of modern macro policy decisions.